Hello there my dear friends, welcome back to the Scott Breed Project and today we are doing these wonderful things. Okay then, to make these glorious pheasant bonbons we need just the drumsticks. So what we're going to do, we're just going to skin the bird so really quickly I'm just going to break it down. And like I've said many times before, this is shot game, so you never ever know what you're gonna get. So just take those wings off, head off in a bin, and basically grab a handful. And there is the proof in the pudding. You never know what you're going to get. That looked a perfect bird. As you can see, look, some shot damage. But basically, I want these legs. I shall breast it out as well, so nothing will go to waste. Let's put that over there a minute. Let's see what state this leg's in. I mean that looks a lot worse than it is. It's always a messy business this. Just get them out real quick. Put them to one side. Now these breasts would just expose them. Lovely sized breasts. Said the bishop to the actress. Just quickly nip these out. And obviously you can take out the offal, use the carcass for a lovely game stock. Very, very simple butchery. There's some serious damage in there, look, which is a shame, but that is what happens. That is shot game for you. So very simple, taking the claw off, just on the natural bend the knee. You can try and twist those sinews out, but I've got a trick of getting rid of those. So, once we've got our leg, find the natural joint, that gives us those lovely drumsticks, and then these thighs. We can just bone out really quickly. These can be used in curries, casseroles. Superb. Plenty of flavour, that natural fat, so they're a little bit more moist. As you can see the yellow fat on that kneecap there, but there is our thighs and our drumsticks ready for our bonbon. Okay then, this ain't rocket science, but what we need to do is remove all these sinews that are in this drumstick, run up the leg, 
there is quite a few. Now, there is a little bit of work involved with this, but at the end of the day, that little bit of work gives you an amazing product, which you most probably would, I suppose, put into stock, or you could make something like a pheasant o van, but you're still gonna have that sinews. But this way, we turn the much underused pheasant leg into something pretty cool. Right, simple as, without smashing the gaff up, just put your drumsticks in a pan. Here I've got a couple of little partridge legs, I'm just gonna put them in, and a plate with a partridge on. It's like I know what I'm doing. So, what we're gonna be doing basically is just lightly poaching this. Now you've gotta watch because these will balloon up a little bit so we may need to top it up but basically we're just gonna get it on the heat. So we're just gonna bring that to a very, very gentle boil, turn it down and then simmer it. And by that I mean poach, so very, very gentle, no real violent movement in the pan. So as you can see then, I've brought that up to a gentle simmer and that's what we need to do, just let it tick over now and the meat will pull down off that bone and expose the sinews where we will pull them out. And what I've got these poaching in is just some chicken stock, but remember, we're gonna add some flavor when we coat these. So if you don't wanna use chicken stock, by all means, use some water. But as you can see, they're already, if I can get this out, just starting to pull away from the bone there now. So we'll give them 10 minutes, and then we'll check them, see where we are, and then the fun begins okay now for the fun bit let's get one of these out and show you so there is our drumstick i'm going to use a tea towel and like i said a little bit of work but it's well worth it so we cover it so we can pick it up and then basically we're after all these little sinews there is a special tool we use it's called a pair of pliers basically just grab hold of them and pull and they all come out it's absolutely perfect and you'll be able to see and feel what's left in there that's the kneecap there let's grab hold of that that might have one or two on it so you just pull and as you can see there that's in shot. All the sinews have come out. Might be one more left, always is. No, I think we've got them all. There's one there, as you can see, look, just sticking up there. So holding the tea towel to secure the meat and then just pulling all the sinews out. And now that drumstick is sinew free, apart from that little bleeder, just like that. And we just continue on with the poaching till they're nice and tender, but not falling apart. Simple, isn't it? It's genius, but you can see how hard that would be any other way to pull out. And we've nailed them all. You're welcome. So I'm just gonna do that final one. You can see there, this was six drumsticks. You can see how many sinews are in there. And these had been poaching for about 20 minutes. So you've gotta keep an eye on it because you don't want the legs to fall apart. By that I mean, you take them too far, you start pulling the sinews, you're pulling all the muscle off the bone. So just keep an eye on them. I think that's it there. And it's that simple. It's just a great, great way of doing legs and it was something that it's been on my mind for ages how can we you know utilize the legs better make something a little bit different and i thought there's got to be a way and i come across this and i just think it's absolutely brilliant so yeah look at that sinew free 
ready to do whatever you want, I suppose. You could cook them like that, cool them, make any casserole and just put these in for the last 15, 20 minutes because remember, they're poached nice and tender or they will be when we finish. So yeah, remember where you saw it first here on the SRP. There's always one little tricky little bleeder. Come here, make sure you get your cloth, shock it out, job is a good one. Okay, so they're all nicely cooked. Next we need to do the coating. So, got some flour. Gonna season it, season it quite liberally. As you know, most of it just stays in the bowl. Just give it a bit of a mix up. So, into the flour. Just hold it by its bone. Make sure you get it on the top. Just like so. You take one drumstick, swirl it in the old egg. Make sure it goes right up to the top of the meat. Take the excess off and then just roll it in the breadcrumbs. And what I do with mine, I do them all like this once and then back in the egg, back in the breadcrumb, we double dip the beauties. So that's the first one. First dip, I'll just work my way through these. Fire up the old fryer. Frying tonight. So just repeating that process, this guarantees you get a proper coating and it sticks and it's also nice and crispy when we fry it. And then they should all look after a little fling in the breadcrumbs like that. Job is a good one. And they looking good. They look like a pimped up Bernard Matthews turkey drummer. Now the beauty with this is if you're doing lots of these you can get them to this stage. Remember they're mostly cooked, poached, tender. You've got them breadcrumbed. All you need to do is fry them off at 180 degrees. Degrees. Let's try that again. 180 degrees for about three or four minutes till it's nice and crispy. But yeah, looking good baby. So I got my skanky fryer all sorted. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do three at a time, maybe four, but what I like to do is just stand them up. So just the meat is in the oil. Don't know why, I'm a weirdo. And we'll get these in, we're up to frying speed. Just clip that in and then just fettle them down so they're all in. Like I said, about three or four minutes. How good do they look? Oh, you could keep it like that, KFC styly. I'll have to put them back in a minute. But look. Right, let's have a proper look at these. Just look at that. Hey, okay. all sinew free. All I'm gonna do is I coat mine in various sources. So I'm going to do two sriracha, two buffalo wings, and then two garlic and herb. But basically, just get them in, give them a spin round, let them do their thing. What a thing of beauty. Right, I'm going to get these onto a proper board and we'll have a proper look at these. But just look at them. I've actually gone for two barbecue, two sriracha, two lemon and herb. Can you see those? So there you have it, my friends, my sinew-free pheasant bonbons, barbecue, sriracha, lemon and herb. And just to remind you what you're not eating, there is the pile of sinew that would have been in those. Okay, time to have a go. 
Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Bloody hell, they're good. There is the proof in the pudding. Be rude not to try a sriracha. Oh man. Mm. This is just outrageous. I hope you understand I'm taking one for the team here, trying these for your delectation. Look at this. Hey, it's sex on a stick. Mm, have a look at that. Nothing left on the bone. It's genius. Whew. God, they're good. Right, I need to go away and experiment with these. By experiment, I mean eat them. So if you've enjoyed what you've seen here today on the SRP, please click subscribe when my face comes down here. Here, here, here. Also, share this on all your social media, especially the hunting, shooting guys and gals. Share this with all your friends. This is the way to prepare pheasant legs. Also catch me on my social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at the Scott Reed Project. If you want to share the love and help the channel along, please do check out my Patreon page. And basically, all it remains for me to say is, you've got to give this a go. You will never put another pheasant leg in stock again. Right, open up, shiny, shiny barbecue. Go on, just a little taste. Go on. <laughs>